Mario Kart 8 launched seven years ago in 2014, so it's easy to understand why people are getting antsy about Nintendo's next Mario Kart game, which we think will be called Mario Kart 9. YouTube is already filled with tons of Mario Kart 9 speculation videos, so you are probably thinking, what makes this video different than those? Instead of a video talking about what I, Alex, wants to see in Mario Kart 9, this video will overview what you, the Mario Kart community, hopes to see in the next game. To those new to the channel, you may be asking, how is that possible? Well, I streamed an interactive Mario Kart 9 discussion. Dozens of people provided amazing ideas in a talk that lasted several hours. So without further ado, let's overview what we want to see in Mario Kart 9. First up on the list at number one, we have story mode. The top new feature people asked for was a brand new story mode. Story mode is not a feature in any current mainstream Mario Kart games. You just play all the cups at different classes and then there's really not much left for you to accomplish. Adding a story mode may not be out of the realm of possibility for Mario Kart 9. Games like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and Mario Tennis Aces have story or adventure modes, so it wouldn't be a new endeavor for Nintendo. Imagine a young startup named Yoshi looking to prove himself at racing. His family sacrificed everything, so he had a chance to follow his dreams as a Mario Kart racer. Story mode would be pretty awesome. At number two, we have a track creator. A tool allowing you to make the Mario Kart track of your dreams was another highly requested feature. Just think how cool it would be to make your own Rainbow Road, circuit track, or even Bowser's Castle. Maybe Nintendo hinted at a track creator with the recent Mario Kart Live Home Circuit game where you could essentially create a track in your kitchen, living room, or anywhere else that you wanted it to be in your home. Several console games have successfully implemented creator tools such as MLB The Show with its stadium creator, EGA Tour 2K21 with its course designer. This is really cool by the way. Oh, and a game completely dedicated to creation called Super Mario Maker. I'm sure you heard of it. Honestly, I think it's unlikely a track creator gets added to Mario Kart 9 simply because of how intensive creator tools can be on hardware, but maybe, just maybe Mario Kart 9 with a track creator gets launched with a Nintendo Switch Pro? Um, yes please. At number three, we have Elimination Mode. This was an idea mentioned by someone on the stream that really gained traction amongst viewers. Think of it as Mario Kart's version of Fortnite. After the first lap, whomever is in last is eliminated, and 11 racers continue. After the second lap, whomever is in last is eliminated, and 10 racers continue. This keeps going on until one person remains. I never thought about this idea before our interactive discussion, but it sounds cool and would be fun to play. At number four, we have new characters. We spent a ton of time on character discussion for good reason. Characters can make or break a game. The group was firm on not turning Mario Kart 9 into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which includes characters from all different types of non-Nintendo series games. We decided that the following characters should be added to Mario Kart 9 that aren't in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. The characters are Funky Kong, Hammer Bro, Paratroopa, Piranha Plant and Petey Piranha, Pauline, Odesworth, Dixie Kong, King Babam, and lo and behold, Samus. At number five, we have characters to remove. I was stunned that people wanted to remove existing characters that are currently in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Let's get the obvious one out of the way, Pink Gold Peach. I totally understand that. But there was also a movement to remove some of the baby characters. Baby Mario and Baby Luigi made the cut, but Baby Peach, Baby Daisy, and Baby Rosalina did not make the cut. Let me tell you, there was a ton of back and forth on this topic. I'm sure there will be a ton of back and forth in the comment section on this video. But wow, I had a blast reading all the comments that were flowing in during the live stream. And I can't wait to read them at the bottom of this video. At number six, we have character outfits. Alternate looks for characters was another highly requested feature. And we all thought it was a no brainer to add to Mario Kart 9. I won't go into too much detail on this because Mario Kart Tour already features some crazy looks for the characters, but why not include this in Mario Kart 9? Would people be more accepting of Pink Gold Peach as one of the several outfits Peach can use? Um, 
Probably not. At number seven, we have items. A barrel that shoots you forward or backward based on your timing, and an overpowered cannon that sits at the back of your cart and destroys people behind you and gives you a speed boost are new items pitched around as cool additions for Mario Kart 9. The group also thought the giant mushroom from Mario Kart Wii and the fake item box should make a return. Character specific items like we saw in Mario Kart Double Dash were also mentioned quite a bit. But we thought that character specific items should be excluded from any online competitive mode because the game would become too unbalanced. Items that were in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe that we thought should be removed from the game are the blooper, well because it sucks, the piranha plant, our new cannon replaced it, the boomerang flower, I have a newfound appreciation for it because it is an item that takes a little skill to use so I was kind of bummed about that, and the crazy 8. I mean, let's be real. Would we be shocked if Nintendo added the Crazy 9 item? At number 8 we have Tracks. Tracks were a bit hard for us to discuss because we talked at length about a track creator, but cool track ideas included New Dong City, Wario's Casino, nice, Wario's Gambler Highway, love it, and Moonview Highway, sounds beautiful. Wildwoods, Animal Crossing, and Big Blue are all tracks we would like to see return. Oh and I pitched the Rainbow Road Cup, a cup dedicated to just all Rainbow Road tracks. People seem to like it, but I may be exaggerating since it was my idea. At number nine, we have customization options. Similar to Super Smash Bros Ultimate, where you can set up very customized matches, people routinely ask for ways to tweak a Mario Kart race to their liking. This includes choosing the exact items that are available, the number of laps in a race, and allowing certain carts only. Yes, people are tired of only seeing the Wiggler. At number 10 through 30, we have many ideas. There is no way we could limit this to a top 10. People submitted tons of ideas during the interactive discussion. Let's do some rapid fire of some other things people would like to see in Mario Kart 9. New tricks, speed run challenges, more collectibles, no hidden stats, a force drift mini turbo boost, custom music, First person mode, two player time trial, boss battles, the block fort map for battle mode, 1000 CC, yikes. One vs one online races, moon gravity mode, reformatting the ranking system online, weather conditions, cartless mode, taunting, the ability to save more than six replays, a relay race, better friend lobbies, and emoji mode for those competitive Mario Kart players. All right, that covers a bulk of features we discussed during our Mario Kart 9 discussion. Still, I'm sure there are tons of cool ideas I didn't cover that you would like to see in Nintendo's next Mario Kart game. So if I missed something, make sure to drop a comment and join the discussion.